This dude ate acid aged steak. I don't even know what that means, man, but we about to find out because I'm intrigued. The thumbnail got me hook, line, and sinker, so let's get stuck in. <laughs> thing I want is to have some space Yo, in that bitch look like snow, man. He got a steak full of cocaine. And that is good enough. Ooh, look at that steak. God damn, man. Make sure that the balls will fit in the hole. Because the next thing to do is to go ahead and cook. Today I'm going to be pushing my steak knowledge boundaries as I'll be using this key ingredient for today's experiment. It's a colorless organic acid. You probably ate That's it. That's acid? Right. Even knowing. It can be found in candy, soft drinks, and many other things. Bro, the amount of candy I ate as a child, I know my insides are ruptured, man. I must have millions of plastics on my in my damn organs right now. The hug juice, the huggy is what they call it. The damn Jolly Ranchers and, and, and Fruit by the Foot. All them sweets, man. Listen, I'm dying. I have no experience with this ingredient, so I had to run some tests. First, what happens if you heat it up? Well, that took no time at all. That looked like butter. It in less than five minutes. Have you ever heard of sour shrimp? Let me tell you something. This is weird, but tasty at the same time. I tried the same thing with steak, and to my surprise, it was not. Hey, that looks so That's good. I knew this experiment had 50% chance of working, and that is good enough. Ooh, look at that steak! God damn, man, that ain't even well done. This a whole different level we've never achieved. That shit look moist on me. That can't even be. That ain't medium. That ain't done. Well done. This is damn. Um, this is a level beyond anything I've seen. It looked dry but candied. You know. Look like a damn, um, like it's been, uh, well, what's the word I'm looking for right now? Laminated. What? The first thing I needed was a big piece of steak. Look I at the steak, this bro. Rib roast. Now, in order to keep things consistent, the first thing I need to do is to have two halves. I really want to know if this is going to improve hey, the that steak thing. or not. As one, we'll be running our experiment with it. <laughs> hey. I can't even speak right now, man. I can't even speak. Oh my god. I meant to say that steak thick. I have this thing where sometimes I swap words. So like if I want to say that steak thick, I might say that take stick. And I forgot. I know it's something. There's a word for it, but I have that from time to time. Let me go back, man. I don't even got no shame. I'm going back. Steak or not. Thick ass steak. Our experiment with it, and the other one I'll be using as a controlled dry age steak. The first thing I needed to do was to make the acid moldable. So for that, I just added a tiny Bro. bit of water, mixed it all up, and it was now ready. Then on a baking sheet, that shit looked look like dry, salt, man. <laughs> amount of it. Put my steak right on top, and immediately started adding as much mixture as I could. The idea here is to ensure that every single edge is perfectly covered with Jesus. It. The more, the better. I wanted complete coverage with it. The last thing I want is to have some space. Yo, that between. bitch looked like snow, man. He got a steak full of cocaine. Listen, but if that's acid, though. How am I supposed to differentiate that from salt and sugar, man? For all I know, I've been eating sh damn acid this whole time. <coughs> damn acid in my cereal, man. Wait a minute. Acid in my goddamn tea. Jesus, man. Acid in every cocktail I made. I how are you going to tell the difference? Because once I was done, take a look. It looks like an iceberg. It does. If I'm being completely honest. I have no idea what the acid will do to the steaks, but I'm hoping for the best. Because now that this part is done, into the dry ager, both of them. So just go. acid, First no cooking go. oil? Come on, man. Followed by the one we just made. Or like seasoning? The only thing left to do now is wait. As once the time was up, take a look. Not much has changed. That's because the acid did its job. It created a nice, wonderful it crust didn't melt? throughout the steak. And I cannot wait to find out what was going to be inside. So for that, I'm going to shut up and let you experience it with me. That was in the oven and it didn't melt. W-A-S-M-R. I honestly thought that this meat was going to be completely disintegrated. Damn. But to my surprise, that was not the case. It still remained its shape. Obviously, the color has completely changed. Yeah, that bitch is brown right now, man. But it's the same color as the steak he had before. It's like a glassy, glassy brown. What the hell? I'd like to see the actual process. Like if you had like a time lapse video to show as it cooks 
steadily throughout the stake. That would be cool to watch. But most importantly, it's still intact. The biggest surprise for me was the smell. It completely removed any odor. That is something that has never happened Interesting. before. As you can clearly see, this piece of meat started disintegrating. The fat is coming off like nothing. It's also spreadable. But like every dry age experiment, the next thing to do is to go ahead and remove all of the outer crust. Okay. And as soon as I removed the bone, I was left with a nice surprise. There was still some pinkness in there. All oh. kinds of blood. So that bitch was a mix of done and blue. I really don't know what he says at the end of that sentence. Damn, this is interesting, man. I like this channel. This channel is very informative. Like, if you if you like food, but also the intricacies, it's an interesting watch. That's why I like to react to these videos. The more I cut it, the better the steak started looking. So I went ahead and finished trimming the whole thing. Ooh. But don't forget, we still have the controlled dry-aged one, which I also trimmed nicely. Because once I was done trimming... That is a thick, thick steak, bro. We have both steaks. The real dry-aged on the left, and the acid dry-aged one on the right. Mm. They both look fantastic. The only thing left to do is to go ahead and get them seasoned. For that, I kept it real simple. A good amount of salt followed by... Wait, so then what happened in the oven? Maybe I wasn't paying attention. I thought he was like baking it in the oven that's why i was like it didn't melt what did it do in the oven i'm very curious i i think i may not have paid attention at a pivotal point of the video but it's okay we're gonna keep it pushing freshly ground black pepper no garlic powder at all as once they were perfectly seasoned just in case things do not oh that looks so good I decided to go ahead and make an awesome Ooh. side dish and this one i wanted to make sure that it was ridiculously easy for damn and here's how i made it the look at that cheese bread. these sweet hawaiian rolls is gonna be perfect the first thing to do is to go ahead and make a hole right in the middle don't make it too deep though we still the cheese was over this bread yes you want to put some filling in the middle and you already know that we love meat so i went ahead and went with some meat I like to make my meatballs from scratch. Oh, First nah, meatballs. this is a recipe, bro. Followed by some garlic powder, black pepper, and salt. Mm. Mix that up real good and went ahead and made some tiny balls. The idea is to make sure that the balls will fit in the hole. Because the next thing to do is to go ahead and cook them up. So into a pan, I added a tiny bit of oil, threw down all of my balls, and started to stew them up. Next up, I I feel like bro enjoying this right now. Like bro, what, he enjoying this this segment for some reason. I don't know why I get that feeling. I added some marinara sauce before marinara. The then, as you can see, the meatballs are a perfect fit. Now, if you yeah. choose not to use them, you can use anything you like. But once I was done, I said, you know what? We're gonna need to make this even better. How about we added some garlic sauce? So first, into a boy, I threw in some melted butter. Look at this. Garlic, salt and parsley mixed that up real good and it was ready to be brushed in top of the buns the more garlic mm. butter, the better then i added a tiny bit more of marinara sauce bro by a generous amount of mozzarella cheese but wait i was not done yet look at the cheese my dude you know this bus you know it bus without a doubt bro without a doubt i need somebody to cook this for me asap my dude this looks so good what the fuck because you gotta add some parmigiano reggiano. Le parmigiano. Now you wanna transfer to a baking sheet and into the oven it goes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Because once the cheese has completely melted, add a tiny bit of parsley right on top and there you have it. <sighs> the finished product, man. Look at that. Damn clean ass cutting board too, bro. You already know this shit bussin', man. The parsley just make it look so much more appetizing. Oh man, you get some ranch dip. That gonna hit you straight to the friggin' soul, bro. If you on your deathbed, this gonna bring you back to life. This gonna give you two extra days, man. This a free man. One up. But remember, <clears throat> we still gotta cook the steaks. So first, I'll be putting a nice, wonderful sear. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat. And for that, I'll be using my wireless thermometer. Oh, so nice. Damn, got the torch going. I, I gonna have to mute this part, man. I'm not trying to get copywritten. Oh, look at that steak. Flip that bitch. Yes, sir. <coughs> All that fat. Mm. Look at the sear, the sizzle, the flame, the cook. Ooh, that's my kind of steak right there, man. What do you call that? Is that medium well or is that well done? Hey, bro, come on now, dog. I think that might be a little medium well. I could be wrong, man, but it, it brown enough to go in my system. I could tell you that much. That's my kind of steak. Wait. So what's the thumbnail clickbait? Ooh, that is not my kind of steak. 
<coughs> I don't like it too pink on the inside. I can't lie to y'all, man. I don't like it too pink. She gotta have a little bit of melanin, man. You know what I'm saying? When I experiment with steaks, I have high hopes. <clears throat> you never know. Now that side dish, mm, mm, mm. I cannot wait. To yeah, that side dish going hit. Mouth watering meatball slider. Right here, we got our beautiful steak with an incredible side dish. We got an experiment going on, gentlemen. I want your brutally honest opinion. I'm excited about this one, everybody. There's Bro, the, the the damn thumbnail clickbaited me straight from the damn grave, man. The thumbnail made the steak look green. So I was like, shit, I gotta see this. Ain't no green steak on the, str on the screen, man. We're gonna go in this direction right here. Dig in, gentlemen. I Control dry aged steak. Dig in juicy steaks right here. Absolutely. If it's not juicy, it's not right. Enough talking, let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, how that tastes, man. How that tastes. This is a mature steak. That's wonderful. Oh my God, that's that juicy to the max, too. What do you think they serve in heaven? Steak. Dry aged steak. <laughs> ah, I 100% <clears throat> There's nobody in heaven gonna give you chicken because that. Hey, listen, not too much on chicken, man. That's my lifeblood. Not too much on chicken. I try to minimize red meat. That shit be draining my energy, man. You give me some of that that poultry, that bitch keep me alive, man. I'm still young because of chicken. I want you guys to try this side dish. Get ready for a surprise as soon as. Yeah, you I want to see know, this, man. Cheers, everybody. Ooh wee, cheers. no dip. Mmm. Mm. Is that a meatball? Yeah. Damn. Wow, that marinara sauce is so good. You can hey man, imagine just having that thrown in front of you for free. You didn't pay no money. You you just there to taste test. Oh, but of course, man. Sign me up. Taste the garlic in every bite. That meatball comes through beautifully. What I like the most is like the sweetness from the tomato sauce. It's such a nice balance. Mm. The combination is beautiful. Combination. You don't want to do the meatball from scratch. That's fine. Buy the pre-made ones. You know the Swedish meatball yep. from IKEA? Buy that. Put that that in would there. fit Look, perfect. This side dish is good, guys. That's all you gotta know. Now, hey, that's actually a little hack, to be honest. Like, I might actually consider that. Just get the whole sweet bun and then the, the Swedish meatballs. All things considered, this is doable. What was it, like a garlic paste he put on that bitch? This might be doable, man. I might invest when I'm feeling good. Enough talking. Let's try the last one. Please dig in, guys. I want to know. Does it smell different? Not really, bro. No. Exactly. I was just as surprised as well. Nah, I'm surprised that the steak don't look nothing like the thumbnail, man. That's where I'm surprised. It smells pretty normal. It smells like steak. Enough talking. Let's give it a go. Ready? Cheers, everybody. Oh, Cheers. shit. Cheers. Big risk. Oh, that's pretty good. Wow! You sound like Wario. No, yeah, who's Wario? <laughs> I don't know if you thought this was gonna suck. Do you feel a weird taste? There's something there mm. that's not just beef. This is an incredible. <laughs> there is something there that ain't beef, man. It's the DLC. You just got the expansion pack, man. Uh, you, don't dig too deep. You might find something you don't want to know about. Incredible experiment, everybody. <clears throat> I tell you that right now. By the way, I dry aged it in citric acid. Ooh. Okay. You know the stuff that citric is Citric acid. Sandwich? Well, you dry aged the steak in acid. Yes, 100% in acid. You could have told me that that was a control steak and I would have believed you because it tastes great. It tastes like a control, but better. It has all the great qualities of the control steak, but there's like a little added flavor there that just is like a nice zing. Uh. I explain because it's quite subtle yeah it's hard to find i would say it is a little bit more tender as well it's really tender, it's slightly more flavorful it does not have anything to hey do it's all that citric acid man i recommend before you even try dry aging steaks with it just grab a little bit of citric acid and put on top of one cut of your listen man firstly google foods you're damn you're like a professional at what you do you're damn good you roped me in with that immaculate thumbnail. I could not believe I got gypped, man. You got me. I, I concede. You got me. You show me a green ass steak. Oh, but of course I'm gonna click it. That being said, this looks very interesting, man. I really do want to try the the sweet buns with the meatball and cheese. Ooh, that shit look damn good, man. I know that would sit well in my stomach. And those steaks, man, the way they were cooking, the sizzle, the oils, the juices. Ooh, I need a grill, man. I I don't even have a yard for a grill, but uh, I would love to grill some steak. But if I'm grilling the steak, you ain't gonna find no pink on the inside, man. If you ain't a medium well or well done type nigga, don't come to the cookout, man. I don't got anything for you. It ain't no blue. It ain't no well rare medium rare nah nigga you gonna get that bitch decently cooked ain't no blood in my steak hell no but listen man i'm gonna head on out this video was fantastic i'm salivating there's literally spit 
building up in my mouth right now. I gotta go and eat some shit, man. So I'm gonna see y'all for the next video. Peace out.